Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're doing a recap and review of Married at First Sight Season 12, Episode 16, Speak Now or Forever Hold Your Peace with Vincent and Brianna. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Also turn on your notification bell. If you like the video, smash that like button and also feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section below. So let's jump into this. So before I want to get started, I know what the thumbnail says about Champagne Vinny and Bossy Brianna. I'm not necessarily calling her bossy. This was a big term that was used in this episode, which we are going to explore in this recap. So I wanted to get that out the way because I know a lot of people have some issue with that. And it was calling Vinny out on that. But that's why I had this take. So it started off. The episode where both Brianna and Vincent are now leaving the retreat, which we saw in last week, uh, episode 15. And they get back to the house and um, it's time for bed. And then there's a situation where Vincent gets a little bit offended because Brianna found it necessary to tell him that he is unorganized and she is organized enough for the both of them. Well, it's not going to go well. So, I don't know if you guys ever heard the term, it's not uh, what you say, it's how you say it. Now, I know we haven't actually spent days with this couple, but it is obvious that he wants to impress his wife and be seen as a capable husband. Brianna, it looks like, well, he took it as if he was being put down by her. And, you know, he's trying to, both of them are trying to win and keep each other's heart. Now, um, a, you know, a lot of people tend to think he might be a sensitive man. And especially considering that this isn't the first time Brianna has upset him with some of her comments. Um, I think sometimes when you, especially getting to know somebody, and this works for the both of them, you need to know what approach you can have with each other. And it seems that you know, with her comments and from what we see on the show, it hasn't changed in her approach. There's some things Vincent needs to work on too. So I'm not going to make this one sided. Vincent, um, of course, doesn't feel like he's a child that should be scolded and especially being on national TV. So this definitely becomes an issue. And I've been seeing the comments on social media about how Brianna says, you know, I'm not going to change for anyone. However, she wants Vincent to change for her. Change is evident and most definitely going to happen in a marriage because you have to adapt to each other. So they both are going to have to look at that all together. And hopefully they will figure this out as time go on and even after the show and the cameras go home. So now part of this episode is where the couples meet individually with their families to kind of reflect on the past eight weeks. And this happens also with both Brianna and Vincent. So with Brianna, um, she video chats with her mom about her thoughts on the de uh, pending decision that she's going to have to make for decision day. Now, she does admit that she's not exactly sure what she wants to do. Um, she believes that she and Vincent has a communication issue. She feels that he is easily embarrassed and have a problem with her being bossy. Her mother advises her to leave if he truly doesn't like her personality. Now, that might be a part of the problem because um, her mom, you know, of course, is somebody that's telling her the truth. There's nothing wrong with being direct or independent person. But with that being said, you never want to hurt someone's feelings with their delivery or with your delivery. And I mean, I don't think she's intentional with it and saying terrible things. I just think that everything, sometimes you have to kind of pick your battles and you should never have to walk on eggshells. But it's also how you deliver the message, I would say. And, you know, at the same time, Vincent also needs to trust Brianna's intentions that they're good, that she's not out to get him or hurt him. And then this way, he won't take the criticism so, so harshly. 
I mean, these two could actually be a great love story if they're both willing to put in work and neither has to completely change their personality. They just need to adjust and, you know, be able to work together. And I honestly think these two are, are going to work. Um, they just have to tweak their communication styles. That's what it comes across. Remember, these two only been together for eight weeks. That comes out to two months. They only been, if you think about somebody dating in two months, that's not a lot of time. So even with them being married in two months, they still have to take the time of, and that's going to come with time to learn each other's communication style and what's receptive to one another and what's not. And then make the adjustments accordingly. Excuse me. So now it's Vincent's turn and he chats with his cousin-in-law about Brianna and the state of their marriage. And his cousin gives him another perspective on his wife, as he called it, bossy nature. And he feels that it could be a good thing to be with someone who is always going to be direct with him. Now, Vincent, however, is still hesitant because things have not worked out with those type of personality types in his past. And I found that interesting because one thing that I did hear in this episode with Vincent is that he said that originally when he filled out his form to sign up for the show is that he said on his form that he didn't want somebody that assertive or that direct. And it's interesting that they put them together when she is very direct and very assertive. And, um, you know, one of the things I remember Pastor Cal said in a couple unfiltered episodes before is that, do you actually think that we put these people together for drama? I'm wondering, you know, because obviously if everybody was perfect, which I don't mind a good romance story, is it going to get the notoriety that it would get if it didn't have drama? So I'm wondering in some cases it could challenge them to say, hey, maybe I can deal with this. And because challenges and make you, you know, go into another level of growth. But is that going to be the thing with these two? Because he said he didn't want that, but this is what he got. Okay. So now um, Brianna and Vincent discuss their marriage at dinner. He admits that he has difficulty asking for help and can get an attitude when he's upset. Now, Brianna shares that when he told her that her being bossy was a turnoff, her feelings were hurt. And, I mean, it's interesting because when she called him unorganized, he didn't like it. When she called him, I mean, when he called her being bossy as a turnoff, she didn't like it. So at what point they're going to have to get to a space where they feel comfortable saying certain things to each other. Again, this is only eight weeks. It's only been two months. And it's one thing if you're dating, but the other thing is you're married. So a lot is really, the pressure is on with these two. And then to try to figure out if this is something that they can deal with after the eight weeks. But you know, the conversation is pretty interesting. You can tell that feelings are hurt here by, you know, what they have been saying to each other. I really, truly think that they can work through this. They just have to adjust their communication style. And I see her as being very direct and assertive. Um, I've seen bossy people. Bossy people are usually controlling because they want things to go the way that they want them to go. She's been pretty agreeable. I mean, just her being open to learning his language and things about his culture. You know, I mean, I, again, I see her as a go-getter. I see her as assertive. But, um, you know, I'm not in Vincent's eyes, and I don't know if this is just played up for the show. We don't know. But the thing is, is that Vincent has to understand that her intention behind her words are not something in a derogatory nature. And they seem to kind of get over it a little bit because they were playing with each other. He was trying to help her take her boots off. So I honestly think that, you know, this is something that they can work through. Um, they just have to get that communication together because it looks like everything else has just fell into place with these two. You know, they have some of the same interests. They like some of the same things. Um, so, I mean, 
And then he has to be able to adjust to new things. That's the other thing. And we've seen that in previous episodes. So I honestly think that they um, will be fine. Um, She had gave a Spanish word that means sleep. And I forgot what that was in this video. And he was like, yeah, you're getting there. And she was just like, just tell me that I'm doing good. You know, so again, communication issues. So now, um, you know, they're getting ready for bed. And the next morning, he's getting ready to leave to spend the day alone before decision day. Now, it may, they made it look like he woke up on the wrong side of the bed. But he definitely doesn't give Brianna that go-to move. Um, the other thing is, I thought it was funny that they played this up. And I know most people, especially women that wear braids and micro braids and dreads and things, or I should say locks and things like that, do not mess with the hair. But I honestly believe Brianna told him that she wanted him to help her cut her braids out. He just took it for himself to do it in that moment. And I don't think that was the right moment to do it because she wasn't ready for that. I don't think it was anything malicious. So I backtrack a little bit. So let's now move forward to where he's now leaving for the day. Um, to Because all of the couples, they had to go to their prospective spaces to kind of think about their decision. And one of the things that he said, which was... Um, nice knowing you. And that didn't sit well with Brianna. She was like, what does that mean? And he really didn't give an answer. He just gave the the gesture of what do you think it means? And then the way that this was set up, we didn't get to see the whole thing, but he pretty much just walked out. And of course that left Brianna feeling some kind of way, you know, because She made statements about, you know, at the end of the day, I got to choose myself. So it's going to be interesting. I really, truly think they are going to stay together. They just got to work through their communication styles. But before we end this, I wanted to touch on another thing because there has been some buzz about Vincent's ex. And one thing I want to mention about exes is that sometimes what happens with one ex is going to be different than the other. Now, you can pause this video if you want to read what the ex had said pretty much about her experience. And her experience has been a little different than what we've seen on screen. Again, it could be editing. But I wanted to mention that because I don't know if you know a show called Glamour. It's on YouTube. They talk about the different experiences that each of people have with their exes. And it can be different because the energies are different. So we have to take into consideration that that it's going to be different than one thing for one person than the other. So let's do our post notification shout out. If you want to be shouted out, drop a comment down below and I will see you and shout you out. This one goes to Sally Bird. Thank you for engaging the channel. I really appreciate it. And then last but not least, Lydia Sobers. Thank you as well for engaging in the channel, and I appreciate your comment as well. So until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.